Uh, if, you know, the native, no WebAssembly, no isolation whatsoever, just calling, a, invoking a function. Uh, and I actually, I think I have a link here. I'll try and get the link to the slides to you guys uh, via SADIC or, or you know, uh, some mechanism later on. But uh, I I've actually have some benchmarks that you can run and reproduce this data. So I didn't, I'm not just making this up. Uh, but th this is, uh, these are examples of going from no isolation whatsoever, just making a function call and, uh, and handling the result to uh, extremely coarse grain isolation via a state-of-the-art VM in the form of uh, Amazon's Firecracker. And so native isolation, you can Make this invocation for this particular function that I put together, which was not trivial, but pretty, pretty does very little work in reality. Uh, took about 150 nanoseconds on my Mac Mini. Uh, uh, in, uh, sort of fine grain isolation using WASM time, which is one of the state of the art WebAssembly runtimes out there, uh, introduces an 87x overhead. That's pretty bad. But to put this in context, that's 13 microseconds. That's faster than I can ping my uh, router, home router, over a wired internet connection from my laptop. So it's still pretty darn fast. It's you know less than, well less than a blink of the eye. But if you're trying to pack as much uh, work into a given piece of hardware, you want that number as low as possible. The good news, as we'll uh, look at in a little bit later, is there is room to improve this. And we're going to get closer to maybe like even a, a 2x or a 3x or maybe even a 1 point something x multiple and still retain those guarantees that per user fine grained isolation that we were hoping for uh, uh, based on some proposals out there to extend uh, the Intel Ar and, and ARM architecture textures with some additional memory management uh, uh, capabilities. Um, but just to, but this slide is still this is this is what we have today. This is kind of the best we can achieve or have achieved anyway today using various technologies. We can see that WebAssembly gets uh, pretty far uh, along the line of performance, uh, certainly versus a container Docker based uh, isolation strategy and uh, uh, and certainly versus a virtual machine type of thing. Um, and uh, th uh, th this this slide is kind of close to my heart because uh, we at Fermion are building a serverless platform and we are trying to make that as efficient as possible and uh, you know really compete with existing options out there such as AWS Lambda and uh, GCP functions and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, we see a lot of promise in Web WebAssembly. We think that's the way forward uh, for this fine grain isolation, but it done without cost. Uh, to answer your question, uh, we're trying. We're just trying to bring those costs down. Is the main thing. 